Hey, what's up, Tech Nation? So, super huge thanks and shout outs to my uncle for letting me borrow his Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge for a couple of hours so I can shoot some nice B roll footage and get to know the device. I have this little video I'm putting together. Um, well, this is the video you're watching it. It's a review slash observations video. There are a lot of stuff I don't cover in the video because I didn't really get a chance to. Hopefully, I can have an S6 Edge and in S6 for a longer period of time so I can do a longer review for you guys but here is a quick observation slash review video for you. Now just like all of my review videos I'm gonna begin with the design. I think this phone is a beautiful device. This is by far the most beautiful Samsung device in the history of Samsung devices. The phone has beautiful rounded edges, um, glass on the front and the back and, the, and it actually feels great and the whole trend of having glass on the front and the back is kind of over with per se but Samsung has brought it back and they've done it better than anybody else has the glass is beautiful it feels great to hold the platinum gold finish is absolutely beautiful even touch Wiz is beautiful they've toned down touch Wiz a lot and and it just works this phone is beautiful throughout and let's get straight to it the reason you're watching this video is to see what i think about the edges are the edges gimmicky or are they really useful and honestly i think the edges are a bit of both but being a bit of both it depends on who you are and how you interact with your phone if you'll even find it useful at all or gimmicky at all. People Edge is a nice feature that gives you quick access to five of your favorite contacts. Just swipe in from the side and your contacts pop up. Touching a contact gives you the option to call or text said contact and touching the cog will take you straight to the People Edge settings. If you have a missed call from one of your top five contacts, a colored tab will appear on the edge. Just swipe that tab. The background will kind of dim and you'll be presented with an option to call or text that person back. When the phone is face down, the edge can be used as a sort of notification light slash light indicator as to who's calling you or has texted you. When the phone is ringing, the edge will light up different colors to help you quickly identify who of your top choices is calling. The same also applies for text messages, though the pulsing of the light is slightly different compared to an incoming call. Another neat edge feature that Samsung has implemented into this device is called Information Stream. Information Stream is a quick way for users to access missed calls, top stories, stock information, and plenty more from the edge of the device while the screen is turned off. Just simply swipe your finger along the edge and cycle through the information to find exactly what you're looking for. I must note though, in order for this to work, you have to swipe your finger along the edge of the phone that you have designated as your active edge. In the settings menu, you can also rearrange how each info panel shows up, setting your most desired info to show up first. Quick replying from a text message notification is also present and works wonderfully. When a text comes in, just touch reply, type your message, and send it off. You never have to leave your current screen. So the saying goes, all brawn, no brain. But honestly, the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge is all brawn and all brain. It's a beautiful device on the outside and a super powerful, intelligent device on the inside. Samsung's new Exynos 7420 octa-core processor is a beast. And without getting too technical, I'll say it has four cores that run at 1.5 gigahertz and another four cores that run at 2.1 gigahertz. The Super AMOLED display is crisp, clean, clear, and as far as saturation levels go, it doesn't feel too saturated like all of previous Super AMOLED displays have. Sound quality coming from the mono speaker is great, though I do wish there were two, and the camera quality is excellent as well. So for my initial observations, I can conclude that this phone is a must buy. It's excellent, it's beautiful, it works great. Now, like, like I said before, I'd like to thank my uncle for letting me borrow his device. Um, I only had it for a couple of hours, so if you want me to do a full thorough review, then please be sure to hit that thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe. The more thumbs ups, the shares, the likes, the subscriptions, the viewership, that helps me to obtain review units from the manufacturers and from there I will spend like a week or two and actually give you guys really thorough reviews. So be sure to hit that thumbs up, share, comment, and let me know what you think. Um, so for my initial observations, I think the device is excellent and I would like to spend more time with it. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Oh, and as you can see uh, in the background, everything's different. I'm actually in a hotel. I am not at my house at the moment. I'm out of town on an internship. That's all I'll say. And I hope to keep putting up fantastic videos. Thumbs up, thumbs up and comment if you want vlogs too of what I'm doing while I'm out of town. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next review video or just video in general. Peace.
the settings menu, you can also rearrange how each info panel in the settings menu in the settings menu you can also rearrange when each info panel shows up in the settings menu you can also infer, in the settings menu you can also rearrange each info oh my goodness in the settings menu you can also rearrange how each info panel shows up allowing for oh jesus i messed it up crackers